Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's literally been forever since I've picked up the camera. I, as you can hear, am getting over a sickness, not COVID, a sinus infection. And that's been confirmed with tests, okay? Um, being real healthy out here, real safe. Um, yeah, it's 3 o'clock p.m. My hair looks cray. It's Sunday, January 10th, I think. Literally no clue what's going on, but what's new. Um, I decided to start a week in my life vlog right now. There is literally nothing really big and interesting going on today. I spent some time this morning with Zabian and Zoe, and then um, I just cleaned the house, and I did not record that because I didn't. I just really needed to like get into a headspace and record my um, record and clean my house. So, it's three o'clock now, my house is clean. I am going to head to the gym. We are on our last day of week nine. Um, and then tomorrow starts at week 10, the final week of Alive Strong. So I'm really excited to finally be done with it. Um, it was not bad at all, but I'm kinda just ready to get moving on to my goals for this new year. So. Um, I'll do a quick little gym OOTD. And then also I am going to insert in right after this clip um, the Miami trip that I took. And then a couple of days before that, I'll go ahead and throw the date in so you know. I know that it's like the second week of January already. What is it? The second week? Is it the second week? Yeah, it's like the second week of January already. Um, so... You win some, you lose some. But I didn't want to waste the footage. So I'm going to throw that in right after this clip. And then we are going to get started on our week. So this might be a little bit of a long vlog. Grab your popcorn and let's get into it. But first, let's ignore the bounce house in the background. But if you know, you know. So I am just wearing the Whitney Simmons um, leggings from her version 2 collection. These are not the ribbed ones. These are just like the high rise, whatever, in black. I'm wearing some old NMDs, just pink and white, because I needed to match something with my pink headband. I'm wearing my Gymshark training zip up, and then just this little tank top, because I'm doing upper body today. Nothing special, physique literally looking about the same, but I did my measurements this morning, and I am losing some inches on my waist and my stomach, so thank God. Booty still popping. These leggings honestly make it look Spectacular, phenomenal. I know it's black, so you can't really see it, but yeah, bounce house in the back. If you know, you know. So let's get into my Miami trip, shall we? Yay. Say it out loud, spill the truth. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. actually later than I thought so yikes um, I just made some dinner this is like a cauliflower lentil quinoa pasta and then I'm just having it with like some tomato basil sauce and then there is sausage in it 
Italian sausage. I don't know why I could not get that out. Literally, you guys, I'm reaching the end of my day here. Um, so I will show you in a second because it looks hecka, hella crazy. Um, I don't even know why I said hecka. I don't know where that came from. I've never said that in my life. Don't know where I was going with that. Um, but I actually am about to sit down and plan for my week of teaching and then I also start student teaching this week I am in grad school pursuing my master's of education and my license in English as a second language So I'm student teaching for my license um, and That starts this week. So my head is spinning. I have lots of copies to make Unfortunately, I was too sick to go in on Friday um, to set my classroom up. So tomorrow's gonna be a very interesting day, but I'm setting an alarm. I think I want to give myself about an hour and a half to get all this planning done um, because I don't want to burn myself out. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to just do some overall plans in my planner, just like an idea of what I want to do, plan out math because that's, you know, never gonna change. There's specific stuff we need to get done for math. Um, and then I'll make my copies and stuff for tomorrow and possibly Tuesday, but for sure tomorrow. And then I'm gonna call it one because I'm already getting pretty tired and I just want to wake up at five o'clock tomorrow so I don't wanna stay up too late. So I'm gonna show you what my little setup looks like here and then I'm gonna get to work. I have to pack my printer tomorrow, um, but I'm using it right now. I do have just HP Envy and I do have HP Instant Ink if you're interested um, and you like a month free, you can go ahead and use the link in my bio. Right now, link in my bio, ha. The link in the description box. box. I am watching Bianca Franco right now. Um, and then I'm gonna get to planning as I eat. Got my water in my hydro jug. Um, I have something at school where this connects to this. I don't know why it can't be wireless. It's really annoying. Um, or I can't get it to be wireless. But um, that's why I have my MacBook here because I can print wirelessly to that. So I got a lot of stuff going on here. Like I said, I only wanna give myself about an hour and a half. And then I'm going to call it a day. So peace out. Happy Monday. My hair looks like a wet dog. I literally look like a wet dog. Um, okay, that's interesting. I promise later on I will look better. I'm very tempted to roll my window down just so my hair dries. Because usually it air dries. And I just feel like I'm not getting the air dry because I'm in the car. So... Let's talk about the elephant in the room, AKA my Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in two weeks. I got a venti today because it was free. That's that on that. This week, I did start tracking my macros. So that took a hefty 400 calories away from me. But you know, it is what it is. I like to treat myself on Mondays and that's what I'm gonna stick with. <sighs> you know, I had a pretty good workout. I had to cut it a little short um, for two reasons. Number one, it's 7.10. I wanted to be at work by seven o'clock. I didn't have to be to work until eight o'clock. Um, so it's not like I'm late for work. I'm just a little behind on what time I wanted to be there. And the reason that I wanted to be at work early is because I didn't go in on Friday to get ready for today. And we are back to in-person. I prepped everything that I needed to prep, like copies, stuff like that. So it's really just a matter of like getting my classroom back in order, which honestly I feel like I can do even with my kids. Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside. Tell me your loss feels so blue, leaving me on the spot so confused. Oh baby, tasting so sweet, I can so rude. Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make it seem. All 
right, so honestly, this did not take me as long as I thought it would. I basically got everything unpacked. My classroom was left in a pretty good condition because I'm just that kind of person. Um, and then the custodians, so, so grateful for them, uh, retaped my floor up. So um, I, my floor was taped to separate the desks, but the kids were kind of like moving the desks back and forth, which was messing them up a little bit. And I was just thinking like, man, that was gonna be a process having to retape all of them. But they taped them for me. So I do not have to worry about that. I am just finishing up my cart that I brought in, unpacking my backpack. And then I need to go put my lunch in the teacher's lounge. Where did I, what did I have in this? Oh, that's over there. I need to go put my lunch in the teacher's lounge. I have random cords, but I have no clue where they belong. So I definitely need to figure that out before it's time to teach. And then the only thing I have left is to kind of straighten up this back table here because it has stuff from when I thought I was going to teach from my classroom. So it's just random stuff that's out of order. And then I need to just get my schedule ready for the day. And then I'm good, and so I'm making good time. It's 8.04. I don't technically need to be done with all this stuff until 8.30. So I just want to give you a little update. Feeling good, you guys. It's going to be a good day. Hi, guys. Happy Tuesday. I moved my camera down a little bit because when I had it up, it was, like, shaking as I was driving, especially on this road, which they have never, ever redone the whole time that I have lived here. It's never been done. And I actually see construction cones, so... Anyways, um, I hate Tuesdays. I hate to start off like this, but I'm just not a fan of Tuesdays. But not for any other reason other than the fact that I love Mondays so much that I give Monday my all, like my 150%. So by the time it's Tuesday, I'm like, no, no. I had such a hard time getting going today. Like I got up. I slept in a little bit longer because obviously I didn't need to go to work as early. I would like to go back to what I was doing before break and um, get to work at 8 o'clock, you know, do the 8 to 4 thing like my contract is just because I was really burnt out um, in the beginning of the year when I was going at 7 when the building opened and then sometimes I was staying until 5 or 6 and still working at home and I just do not see myself doing that um really anymore so i am trying to get to work at eight which is not an issue it's 7 55 right now and i'm literally like two minutes away um but yeah i just did a pull workout it kind of sucked not the workout just the fact that i was so in the groove of the workout that I wanted to um, do more and I wanted to run a little bit and you know like when you're when you're not ready to be done working out that's how I felt uh, but I had to obviously stop and get ready for work so I just did the the day of my program and then I left and today is not necessarily going to be a long day um, like I said, my classroom and everything's already set up, so when I get to work, I'm gonna make some breakfast, probably make some tea. I really wanted Starbucks today, but I didn't. But I need you to know that I didn't get Starbucks today because I didn't have time, not because I had self-control. So I do have tea at work. Peppermint tea has been my jam lately, so I'm gonna go to work, make some breakfast, make some tea, and then I'm going to conjure up some energy because I need it and my kids need it. Will I go to Starbucks on my lunch break? Who knows? <sighs> um, another thing, yesterday I started student teaching. So, essentially, I am student teaching for my uh, ESL license uh, while I am still doing my regular job. So, during my prep time, I I am student teaching, um, I'm observing, I am learning, 
And then when there's overlap between my students who utilize the ESL services, I am observing and doing that as well. And it's like, it doesn't seem like a lot because it's only 35 hours and I have the whole semester to do it. But it's just like the type of person I am, I try to get it out the way like as soon as possible. And I have my first observation in three weeks. So it's just honestly, it's all over the place. I would like to get some grading done today. Like for report cards. So then I don't have to worry about that on Friday. And then on Friday, I just want to focus strictly on getting next week planned out because it's the end of the quarter. I just want to be ahead, you know? And I also want to do a curriculum map for third quarter just so I have a general idea of what I want to get done when I want to get done. So today, I probably, when I get to work, we'll just do the breakfast thing. And then I actually want to do a mini lesson today. I don't know. Also, if you are here watching my vlog from my like original youtube subscribers like before i became a teacher how do you feel about the teacher content because i was on like this kick of mainly teacher content had my teacher gram grew my teacher gram um all summer into like october and then i was kind of just like over it you know because doing YouTube and like content and stuff like that creating things is my hobby and teaching is my career and I really do not want to mix the two because then I feel like I'm not going to like content creating because I'm doing it so much if that makes sense like I'm doing it all day I finally have some free time this weekend um, and I am going to film a YouTube video Gymshark favorites I'm pretty sure and then yeah I'm gonna be the one that drives to the snowbank I guess nobody else wanted to park here even though everybody else has a truck look at right on time 759 I'm exhausted. All right, let's go. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body language, working on our body language. Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside. Okay, I don't remember what clip I set it in because I said like seven million clips this morning trying to figure out my camera situation or whatever. But I feel like I said something about not vlogging because I just had a million things to do or because I didn't want to do or something. But I think that's my goal today is that I'm trying to get a lot of footage in. Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Working on our body language He said together when others said separate He said peace when others said war Sooner or later all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together ways hey peeps happy uh wednesday it's wednesday first of all what a day um it's 12 53 yes you heard that right 12 53 i just went to starbucks on my lunch break because i wanted some starbucks and i also needed some lunch i just got a tomato mozzarella panini which is my fave and now i'm heading back to work 
this is the right way um the way that this morning worked out was quite interesting okay so i set my alarm as i do for like 5 20 and 5 30 i woke up at 5 20 and i literally could not get out of bed like i was awake but i couldn't get out of bed so i was like oh yeah i can't go to the gym right now so i went back to sleep i set my alarm clock for 6 40 and then i didn't wake up until 7 15 and that's because Zabian woke me up and so could I have overslept I possibly potentially could have but I didn't because my boyfriend is a real one and thankfully he was up and he usually is up in the morning pretty early um not like five o'clock early but still early enough like me so he is the one that woke me up um I zoomed my way to work made it on time still but I just have been having literally the hardest time staying awake like I am constantly trying to move around and kind of like wake myself up. I'm doing random stretches. I'm trying to like, I'm dying. I'm a little tired and it's, it's going to be a long day. So I really need to figure it out soon. Um, for the rest of the afternoon, we're going to go back. My kids are working on a project. So they'll do that for the next hour. And then um, I will be doing... Um, they have a special so then I'll have like well JK I don't have any free time because I have to go with my student teaching stuff and then after that we're gonna do social studies and we're gonna be done for the day so that's not bad but after work um, I am gonna start door dashing because I want some extra money but I don't really want to do anything like I'm not gonna go out and get a freaking job a retail job or something um and tutoring is just like too much for me at the end of a very long day of work like my brain is just overly stimulated and I can't think anymore so tutoring I won't be doing for this quarter and then um I just, I didn't want to do anything else because everything else would have been too time consuming. So I am going to try out DoorDash. So I think I'm going to do my first order today. Um, it said that we have to uh, complete one order before they send us like an activation kit or whatever. I don't even know what any of that means. So I'm going to do one order today. And then because I didn't go to the gym in the morning, Xavier and I are going to go to the gym after that. And then I need to go grocery shopping, which I still need to make my grocery list. I need to go grocery, grocery shopping because I have not gotten groceries in like months. We have been eating so bad. And part of my New Year's resolution goal, and I knew when we got back from Miami, um, I wanted to start cooking more and eating healthier. LOL at me uh, stopping to get Starbucks, but it's literally because I haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so I don't even say anything. And then... Um, I think that's it yeah I don't have anything else and then tomorrow is just an equally long day because I do have tutoring tomorrow it's an off day from the gym but I signed up for a professional development after school even though it's paid um, it's for the reading curriculum which I want to know a little bit more about going into third quarter so I just have so much going on right now um, it's all good because I like to be a busy gal uh, but I'm still feeling it nonetheless and it's hard because I'm tired today so I just wanted to make sure that I hopped on here and gave you an update the person behind me is driving so crazy make sure that I hopped on here and gave you an update um I guess that's really it that's all I can say to you I'm back at school now it's 12 58 my lunch is over at one o'clock but my school's not that big. And I still got my parking spot left. Let's go. Love that for me. All right, guys. I'll see you. Wow. So I'm actually glad that you said piggy bank. Because we... Yeah, because we are actually... Um, we need to just do a... Yes, it is a piggy bank. We just need to do a quick review. But let me tell you something. The last time that we reviewed money, you did this so quickly that I decided today we're probably going to just deal with full dollars instead of just all coins. Okay? Because that would be too easy for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. 
Um, I feel like I barely vlogged at the end of the week. And you know, what can I do? I have just been really like focused on work this week and getting back into the swing of things because it was our first week back from break. Um, and it has taken a lot out of me. Listen, like a lot. So I've just really been trying to like give my time where I could. I did record a couple of vlog clips um, of like live teaching that I can use for my new teacher stuff too. But some of the stuff I can't put in here because um, my kids are really infatuated with the camera. So that is that right now it's about 7 30 i need to stop at like a gas station and pick up some random little snacks because it is friday and on friday i do a raffle um so a couple kids can pick something out of our little raffle container most of them requested snacks and um because i did tutoring yesterday and PD um, right directly after work like I got off work at 4 and I had PD at 4 30 until 6 and then I had tutoring at 6 30 I was just so burnt out by the end of the day that like I didn't even I didn't go anywhere and that's including like to the dollar store and all the little places that I would normally get their things at <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the gas station I'm gonna get all of the food things that are on the list because a lot of them requested <clears throat> requested talkies gross and then i'm gonna head to work it is friday so they do have a half day and then i have a half work day after that <clears throat> so i have actually planned like next week and then the first week of third quarter so next week is the end of second quarter um we don't have school on monday because of martin luther king day and then we don't have they don't have school i still have to go to work on friday because it's the end of the quarter so my goal during like this work day today is to get all of my grades in because i have enough data um to do that i just been like the beginning of the week I went and I looked back at the standards for this quarter and um, I just kind of did a few activities and things um, in the areas where I feel like I didn't have enough data uh, this week so I'm feeling all good and I've honestly been doing so good at grading like that's one of my goals for third quarter is to really just stay on top of my grading because I really let it get behind me and catching up on grading is it's not easy I did have a little bit of um, an easier time than I'm sure like a normal teacher would or I would normally um, in like a regular school year because I do only have 11 students if it was 26 <laughs> like I had when I was student teaching I'm like 100% sure that I would not be waiting the last minute to grade everything but I feel like if if you're a teacher, you understand. It's just like out of the million things that we have to do in a day, grading is literally at the bottom of it. Like if everything could grade itself, I would love that. So, that's my life. And then after work today, um, Ryan and I are going to grab something to eat for dinner. Haven't seen Ryan in like a long time. When was the last time I seen Ryan? Maybe earlier this week? Last week? Sunday? I don't know. I saw her like the like last week or earlier this week. I literally can't even tell you. I don't remember. Um, but it was in passing. Like we were at the gym at the same time. Um, because Xavier and I had ended up going in the afternoon. But other than that, I've barely seen her, and that's not okay. So we're going to hang out, and then 
Um, tomorrow, I'm getting my lashes done in the morning because I basically have one lash on this side and three lashes on this side, which is, it's like kind of annoying, but it's not my lash lady's fault because I get fills every two weeks and I work out like six days a week. So I just like to sweat and the amount of time that passes and just like, I don't know, there's a lot of factors, but you know. Sometimes I go back bald, sometimes I don't. And this time I'm happen happening to go back bald. Um, and then that's really all I have planned tomorrow. Zabian and I want to do like a double date with Ryan and her boyfriend. So we are going to see. And then Sunday, I'm just giving you my whole little like, this is what my weekend looks like. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm not going to film. That won't be in this vlog. All right, the angle changed a little bit because we're on a bumpy road, and so I needed to contain my phone um, as much as I literally could. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so I'm going to end this week in my life today. And then if I film a weekend in my life, I film it, but I can't promise it. But I do know that because we're having a three-day weekend, I want to film some sit-down videos. Um, and I know that I say that every single week, and I know that you believe me every single week, but I love that for us, okay? I really do have the time this weekend to do it, though. Sunday is my friend Jasmine's engagement brunch. And then Monday, hear me out, guys. <laughs> Xavier does not watch my videos, no shade, but he doesn't watch my videos, so I can tell you this. And if you've made it this far in the vlog all the way until Friday, you're just going to get the tea because I'm not going to put this in my thumbnail or else he'll feel inclined to watch it. On Monday, because I don't have work, I decided to plan like a little date. Um, not like a date day, but basically like a date day. Uh, because we have um, Zo at night um, so Xavier and I really really love the show Are You The One and I know that it's like a super old show um, but he like saw a clip of it, of the show like on Facebook or whatever um, a couple months ago and then he was like hey we should start watching this so we went back to the other seasons and we're literally obsessed with it and we've been watching it for months because obviously we don't have time to just sit down and binge episodes of shows so we have you know every once in a while when we have the time we will watch it so we've been watching it like a lot this past month um with like christmas break and stuff like having that time off from work um so i decided that on um, monday i'm gonna do like a little are you the one themed date um and i know like if you've seen the show the concept for a date doesn't really make sense because you're looking for your perfect match but i'm gonna kind of do like a little spin on it um i think i'm gonna put like you are the one instead of are you the one i'm gonna find the guys I'm a teacher, so I'm extra. Anyways, so I'm going to put you are the one instead of are you the one. And then all of the stuff during the day um, will be kind of like based on that. So I'm going to have little date cards, like little random idea cards. And it's going to be like the things that Ryan says. Ryan's the host um, because he has like a lot of, you know, scripted things that he says. Um, our challenge... I'm still thinking about what our challenge is going to be. That's what I have to put, um, like, put some thought into today. But also tonight when he's out, I'm going to make the graphics for it. Um, I So I just need to think about the challenge. And then our getaway date, I planned, like, this free kickboxing class at this place called Nine Round. I've never been there before, but um, your first class is free. So I signed us up for one. And because usually we work out together anyway, so I figured on Monday we could do a kickboxing class. And the reason that I did that is because Xavier used to be a boxer. And he's really, really been trying to get back into boxing. And I know kickboxing and, like, MMA-type boxing stuff that he does it's not the same thing but I feel like it's similar enough um for him to like get the idea but basically our boxing class our kickboxing class is at 11 so I'm gonna make him breakfast probably at like eight o'clock I'm gonna make his favorite breakfast which is chorizo and eggs and then I need to get our challenge in in like the morning so maybe like nine ish I'll get our challenge in um and then obviously he'll win so he'll get the getaway date um and I just I don't know I'm just really excited because I feel like not I feel like I 100% um 
am so fortunate and grateful to be with somebody who plans dates for me. Um, like Xavier is very, very creative in that sense that he um, is always thinking for new things for us to do. He loves planning dates and he is, he's really, really romantic. Like he is the more romantic one in this relationship. And like in previous relationships, I have always been the hopeless romantic, but he is very romantic. So um, I just feel like it's time to mix it up, you know, plan a date for him because he has planned the dates for the majority of our relationship. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm going to work on the graphics for that later on today as well. I just wanted to share that with you. I'm really excited. Uh, all right. I'm heading to work. This clip was very long. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Working on our body language, working on our body language, baby. Now tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside. Tell me exactly what you mean. You mean everything to me. Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside. again because I already did an intro all right so I started my teaching vlogs this summer and I was always opening up a can of monster because I needed monster to make it through the very long day but I had a scoop and a half of pre-workout today so I didn't get a monster plus I kind of have a headache brewing. I can feel it in the front of my head. I know I'm tired. But I just wanted to show you what I grabbed for my kids really quick. And then I need to get started. So, this is for me. These receipts are for me. Okay, so one of the really big requests on um, the notes that I had them fill out was for juices. So, I just got couple of these I got six of them I have 11 kids but it's a raffle system you know so I um everybody wasn't going to be able to get one anyways so I grabbed half of those and then I grabbed these little um bags of Doritos Dynamita Chile uh Chili limo i got these um because they were cheap two four six i got six of these and then i got three bags of takis and they're big bags so i got three of them 
hopefully this weekend I can make it to the dollar store, the Target dollar spot, and get some prizes that are not food related, but my kids love snacks, so. Um, right now, I am going to head downstairs and make some breakfast, um, just my typical oatmeal, probably make a tea, um, and then, let's see, that's really it. I don't, I don't really have anything that I need to do this morning, so just waiting for my kids. Oh, really quick, before I go downstairs to make my breakfast and my tea, I was running like super low. I thought I was empty, but I actually have one more um, of just my oatmeal that I make. This is great value, maple and brown shirt, shirt. maple and brown syrup. Um, I got this from Walmart, it just looks like this. And so when I re up, I ended up getting Quaker. Um, and this is the same flavor, maple and brown syrup. This is not good. This tastes better than this. And this is like basically generic. I don't know what it is, but this actually tastes salty. So, pretty upset about this. Breakfast? <laughs>